there's a better kind of solar. One that concentrates the power of the sun to produce high value steam for electricity, petroleum, and industrial markets worldwide. This is the future of clean energy. Bright source, limitless. I want to share with you one new development made possible by the clean energy incentives that we've launched. This month in the Mojave Desert, a company called Bright Source plans to break ground on a revolutionary new type of solar power plant. And when it's complete, it will turn sunlight into the energy that will power up to 140,000 homes, the largest such plant in the world. With projects like this one and others across this country, we are staking our claim to continued leadership in the new global economy. And we're putting Americans to work, producing clean, homegrown American energy that will help lower our reliance on foreign oil and protect our planet for future generations. Today I drove out toward the California border for an hour to visit Ivanpa, which is a great example of cooperation with NRG, Google, BrightSource, the contractor Bechtel, and you should have seen it. I mean, it was amazing. I stopped, I shook hands with hundreds of people today. I asked them their stories. I talked to them. They got what they were doing. It's a huge solar thermal operation. It will power 170,000 homes. So this is, I mean, this is a win-win. And this is why I always say there's some people that look out in the desert and they see miles and miles of emptiness. I see miles and miles of a gold mine. Mitigation practice here at Ivanpah starts with protecting the animals from machinery or vehicles. Uh, we've been doing clearance surveys, animals that have been removed from the developing sites. They're housed individually in natural desert landscape. We provide the animals with things that they need, like deep burrows. It wasn't long before most tortoises were down in their man-made burrows and, and for the most part spent the entirety of the winter there. And they all came up this spring, uh, no worse for wear. And I think the general consensus uh, among the biologists, um, and, and I guess with me, is that I'm passionate and motivated to do my best. Well, my name is Elisa Falk. This is my husband, Ryan Falk, my son, Michael, and this is Parker. This is my father. This is my loving wife. We've been married eight years. And this is my family. Uh, he's an electrical worker. Well, I know he, uh, basically puts all the piping in for all the water. We hit a major recession. Uh, a lot of the workforce got hit hard. Uh, this project came up and was able to really rescue a lot of us and our families. Before coming to work here, I was kind of out of work for a little while. It's projects of this magnitude that we really need to keep us going. I enjoy doing the work and, and building something from scratch and saying, you know, this I can point at and say, hey, I helped build this. It's not just, uh, Earning a paycheck, we're doing something for the environment and something for our children's children's children. I'm very proud of what I'm doing. <laughs>